It's things like this that also make me wonder, like, not about the me being fucking killed by how I feel this is a shitty game the entire time, um, about the whole concept of a death cult and people being, like, getting their bits ripped to shreds and dying and shit like that. It just seems like, why, why does that happen? Why do bad things happen to people? And usually it's not even bad things happening to people with an appropriate level of badness. It's just, hey, your people have some bad. Hmm, what's this place for? For me, it looks like a sacrificial altar. Sacrificial altar? Sacrifice what? You better not ask. Well, obviously I have to put the fucking giant underwear thing in. What's happening? Oh! 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 I thought it was just a... I thought it was a completely solid hole, but apparently it wasn't. Ooh! Tape! See, it's things like that that make me distrust where kill triggers for things are. Because like that time before when I could just nice and easily drop down, I had no idea because I thought I was just going to straight up going to fucking die. And then I dropped a considerable distance and I got to live. Whereas there, I dropped maybe a meter and I went splat. God, my stomach was so itchy today. Well, one of those strange faces again. Huh. I'm assuming the god plates would be like a, um... Oh, what's, it, what's it called? Characteresque? Characteresque? Caricaturesque representation of the devs or something. Like that one from before that looked like it was the Phil face from Adventure Time. Uh -huh. We're gliding closer to the pants. Destroy the destroyed. And to your ass kicking friend, Big. How did he even get the undies? Uh -huh. Hmm, those bulks over here. Ah, <laughs> Don't do this to me. Useful for what? Ah, oh, sweet merciful Jesus. Um, look, I think I've monumentally fucked this part up. So as I was saying, I feel like I monumentally fucked that part up. Huh? Neat! I'm never coming back to get all the collectibles in this game. Never. It's like if you ask me to collect all the fucking pizza in the Noid. Uh. <laughs> no fucking way I'd do that. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Like, I understand having the ability to use the game's physics as is for your fun and adventures, but relying on the game's physics to achieve... Relying on the game's okay. physics to achieve specific end goals is a problem, because, like, with these pillars, they bounce and they roll, and that pillar's very close to falling off. However, if it were to fall into a specific place, then we could at least guarantee that, ah, yes, that's what I need to do. But then that might also compromise the whole point of the game. Look, it's a really fun story, really fun art stuff. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I believe it achieved the same end goal, though. Alright. What? Great. No, don't do that. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Don't do that. Really? <sighs> and yeah, the jump height and jump distance in this game don't feel very accommodating. I feel like a I feel a bit like an archaeologist. An archaeologist primarily specializing in pack. Oops, that could have been very bad. And in this segment, we'll learn about inclined planes. God, I really need to play... I really need to just download Star Wars Droid Works and then fucking emulate it. Then also turn the speed all the way down because oh, by God, it goes fast. Come on, really? Come on. What's the matter with you? Fine, I'll just shave a little bit off the top. Like a fucking barber. Oh, get out of here! Bitch. Okay, that didn't even... Oh, 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 come on. Yeah! God damn it. Neat. 